everybody, Tokusa here, and welcome back to another My Hero Ultra Impact video. So today, we are going to look at the boy Night Eye. Uh, this won't only just be PvP, I want to test him out in a PvE event as well, because the, well, the main reason for that is I do not have him fully invested. So I don't want to make it just a PvP strict video, simply because the boy is just not at his, like, maximum peak that he could be. Uh, I was focusing on other characters during the five times, so I did not get his ability board full. And yeah, so he's just not going to be at his like full, you know, capabilities. And I also did miss a climax battle day. I, I ain't gonna lie, I just I, I just forgot about it. So I am a little bit behind on that too. But there is where I'm at currently with the ability board, and I still got to do the climax battles today. And then the basic route, I'm only on board ten. So I don't think it's fair just to do PvP this entire time. Uh, I think that we got to test him out in other locations, just so we can get an idea of how his kit works, how how the barrier like is in play, how it takes effect. And yeah, that's about it. I'm just going to keep it short and simple. We're going to hop into PvP. Uh, probably going to see if I can find individuals that are more, I'm more capable of going toe-to-toe -to -toe with. Just of course because Night Eye is, in this situation, hindering the team a little bit. Just because of what he is at, uh, investment-wise. But I still think we can get some good footage out of him. We'll see though. If I don't, I will get him to look good in PvE. But we'll see. Anyways, I'm going to hop into PvP and I'll be right back. So first fight, we are gonna fight Katsuki. A uh, very good team. This is the team I want. I didn't want to run, but this is the team I'm going to have to run just to compete. Of course, I got the two absolute most meta characters essentially, beside Night Eye here, and I did have Endeavor there for testing beforehand because uh, Night Eye does give extra crit rate, I believe, to pro heroes. I think it's uh, crit rate. Let me check and say it very quickly. Um, yeah, critical skill impact of all hours of the pro heroes. It would have been nice for Endeavor to get like like uber juiced, but uh, just it's really hard to keep his speed above. So I'm gonna run like the most prominent team that you can, right? Momo and Compress with both at lowering their access skill cooldown time, so I can run speed memories on both of them. And then Night Eye there is also supporting because his one action skill does crit rate up for all allies by 30% for three turns. So that's essentially what we're gonna do, and hopefully it plays out pretty well here. Uh, I did obviously PvP just reset, so hopefully rewards are out soon. But everybody that was Legends rank or higher is essentially in the same league as myself, so it is a little bit tricky to, uh, you know, find matches that I compete in. But we'll see how this goes. Get those summertime active right off the bat. Uh, unfortunately, did not get any binds or anything like that, and we got our buffs blocked by Bakugo there. But that's okay. Uh, ooh, Compress is al already feeling it. So we're going to uh, hide Compress here. Oh, yeah. I forgot we both have Dulce Summertime. Ooh, and this. Oh, that was really good damage, actually. That's 18k on pretty much both Momo and Ochako and stun. And it's a two-turn stun. That's, that's game-changing. That probably got us the W right there. I'm not going to lie. Damn, that's... Hey, Night Eye looking good already. He's already got a thumbs up in my book. Uh, wow, imagine this character is UR+. Plus. Wow, that's really, really good. And the other two characters have Barrier. And I think that comes from his AoE. And then this plus Ultra also gives Barrier to all opponents, I think. Yeah, that nullifies one hit. And increases the skill's crit rate by 40% to himself if it is a red unit. I'm actually going to attack Bakugo. Oh, no, no, it doesn't matter. You know what? I'll do a little bit of aiming here. We'll get these two to finish off Ochako, and then I want Night Eye to hit Bakugo here, just so we can see as much damage as possible. Um, also, another important thing here is... Uh, lost my train of thought. I completely lost my train of thought. Wow, that's bad. Anyways, hopefully we get to see the animations here. Uh, we definitely will. I didn't think uh, Momo would take out Ochako in one, or, uh, yeah, Ochako in one hit here. Beautiful. Love it. 65k. Oh, that's what I was going to say. That plus ultra also gives him bullseye for two turns. So no matter what, if there was dodge in one of these units here, uh, we we're going to be A-OK. -okay. 65k. My, obviously, there's a lot of support going on here. But it's not like I'm running also full power young ones or celebrations deco here. Like That was 65k straight up with that plus ultra. At level 80, at basic ability board 10, at like peace route 3. Like I, There's so much more that I could do for this unit. So... Uh, so far, big thumbs up for me right there. And yeah, this is the one that gives barrier here. Gives all allies a barrier that nullifies one hit. Since I have barrier on everybody, I'm actually going to do the single target attack. This also gives crit rate for everybody uh, when I uh, use it in a successfully executed skill chain. So 
Not really a problem. Hopefully. I thought for sure I'd be messing this up now because I said something. And look at that. Bakugo had Bullseye. Ignored that crap like no tomorrow. Didn't even phase us. Look at that. The dodge was in there. Then we had the barrier up so Bakugo couldn't hit us at all. Hey, you know what? Night Eye looking pretty good here. Of course, I have very optimal equipments and memories and team, but I'm loving this. 28, 36k, and I don't think those were crits. That's real good damage. The counters can't do much about that. But what we can do is plus ultra the crap out of Genus here and take him out. Hey, best, hey, Night Eye looking good so far, honestly. That barrier. Having it on two abilities, his one action skill and his plus ultra, that makes a big difference, honestly. That 30% to crit rate to all allies, you are definitely feeling that too. That's like reminiscent of Fantasy or Chaco. Like, that is, that's really nice abilities. And I think every time that he crits five times, I think he gives, gives some sort of support. I have to go over his kit again. But yeah, so far this fight's looking real good. Oh, Genus is able to tough that one out. Uh, we'll go with the bind and then my AoE, give the whole team barrier. Damn, that's like all just forever protected. I love it. Oh, and stun! The two turn stun! Oh, though, my goodness, this is just looking like gold. I honestly forgot about the stun. Night Eye, hello, you are actually cooking. Maybe I can fight somebody that's like. Not that you don't have. That Katsuki has a fantastic team, just like heavier invested. Uh, dupes and whatnot, but hey, Night Eye look good there. Actually, look really, really good. So first fight, I'm actually quite impressed. I think we'll do two fights and then I'll hop into like a EX battle or something like that, just for fun. If you want to stick to the end and uh, see how much damage we can ramp the boy up to. But yeah, so far first fight, pretty damn good. All right, I'm gonna I'm hop right into the next one and be right back. All right, second fight. We are going to fight Oscar. Uh, actually, I just did a fight before this and we got obliterated. <laughs> I I'll show it at the end. Uh, that was against Sam's so the GG Sam, but hopefully this fight goes a little bit better. Usually I would keep fights in, you know, where I, I still tend to lose, but I literally got one-shotted right off the bat. Like, it was over in the first turn. Probably not what y'all want to see, so uh, we we into this next fight. Um, it was essentially the same two as Katsuki's too. It was just a uh, heavier investment. There's a lot of UR pluses, and for some reason I thought maybe I could sneak by, but... Ooh, okay, we're, we're almost in the exact same situation. So this is going to come down to uh, being able to avoid being stunned by Ochako. If one of us gets stunned, I can live with it, but... Okay, okay, so this one's a little bit better than last time. Actually, infinitely better. So how the last fight went out was everybody got stunned, turn one. And I just got nuclear blasted out of here. So uh, right now, obviously, like I said, doing a lot better. I'm a lot happier with this result. And uh, hopefully we can keep it up and do some pretty good damage. 45k to that of Choco. Imagine if we got the stun off too. That would look great. Oh, and the barrier was in play too there for compress. Not too bad. We're looking. This is looking like a lot stronger turn. Oh, Choco was not plus altering, so we just got to survive Bakugo single target attack for compress, which is honestly going to be a lot of damage. Uh, but getting rid of Ochako, I still think is priority number one. So Bakugo will hit Compress pretty hard here, but that damage reduction coming in clutch. You'd love to see that. And now we can probably take out Ochako here. Oh, beautiful. That's another thing about uh, Night Eye. His one ability there, I think the single target attack, can block buffs through two turns, which is really, really good. And yeah, he just does a lot. So his AoE, his one action skill AoE, and his plus ultra, like as you're going to see here, gives barrier to the whole team for one, for one hit. Uh, his AoE can also... Uh, stun for two turns. Two turns stun is absolutely insane. You've seen it at Ochako's Plus Ultra. And I believe it also lowers speed. Yeah, it lowers, decreases their speed by 30% for three turns. So that's also super, super good. Uh, we will attack third here with Night Eye. Oh, this fight's actually going really, really well. Getting rid of Ochako, I think, really helped us get towards that finish line a little bit better. Oh, ooh! Did y'all see the damage he just did there? And he stunned both of them for two turns. Karashima ain't doing crap. And this is the single target attack I was talking about. As you can see, medium oh medium chance to block the bus for two turns. I think it's 50, but uh, correct me if I'm wrong. And then, yeah, when using a successfully executed skill chain, increases crit rate of all allies by 30%. So good. I mean, I probably went over it in the first fight, but, you know, I like to clarify everything with myself, too. 36k. 
Very good damage. We have Dulce Summertime just going left, right, and center with both characters. I think we've used both charges now with both of them, so... Uh, everybody we fight from now on going forward will be... Um... You know, won't be able to evade all the attacks. But hopefully the barrier can protect us from a lot of it. That's what I'm really hoping for for Night Eye. Uh, Momo, oh, Bakugo. Yeah, Bakugo's gonna be KO'd here. That's really, really good, too. So no more debuffs for the team. And Night Eye's actually got a lot of utility in this kit. And honestly, the damage he's doing right now is beyond my expectations. Like, he is actually doing some really, really good damage here. Uh, because, keep in mind, I know I've said it a million times, I'll say it again. Uh, he is only level 80, basic aboard 9, working on 10. That's so good, and the stun on Momo. Are you kidding me, Night Eye? Who is this unit? He's just got so much potential. And him being a climax battle. Uh, assuming that you uh, were able... 76k! Damn! You were lucky enough to pull Celebration Bakugo and beat SS difficulty with ease. You can definitely... you can Not definitely. You can beat it without Bakugo. It's just much more difficult. So, uh, hopefully I am able to figure out something for everybody. But honestly, right now I'm struggling. It is difficult to figure out that climax battle. Uh, what is not difficult to figure out, though, is how good Night Eye is. So if you are fortunate enough to get the character, and now you can just work on it farming up S or SS, imagine this unit at UR+. Just like Redestro. He, uh, so far, big thumbs up. He is doing damn well. Alright, so, uh, see if I can find one more fight, and then I will hop into PvE, and see if we can, if we can ramp up the damage at a max or something. So, I will be right back for the final fight. Alright, last and certainly not least, we're going to fight Roswald for the final PvP fight. Honestly, so far, Night Eye, like I said, expectations through the roof. Uh, uh, my expectations, I'm sorry, I worded that wrong, uh, weren't insanely high, and that's not what the character can do. I was always impressed by that. It's just, like, how much I have invested into him. I wasn't sure how much he was going to perform, but he is doing phenomenal. And yes, I am well aware of the supporting cast I have around him, but still... Still, I cannot discredit for what this unit is doing. It is absolutely insane. Stun on anybody? This stun on Redestro. It may not seem like much, because Redestro is kind of the tank anyways, but it messes up the rotations, right? Two turns not being stunned? Like, you're not able to do any sort of synergy here, and now you can just kind of, uh, you know, get some free damage, keep your plus ultras intact. Like, having that... Uh, utility is actually insane. Especially besides something like Compress, right? You have a chance to bind, a chance to stun, and if all goes, you know, to hell, well then, Night Eye is giving a barrier to the whole team of that AoE. So, that is, it's just super, super good. So, Redestro did lower our power there, but all in all, we should still be fine. Nezre is plus altering before my Night Eye, which could be a problem. I'm not sure if the barrier is given to us on hit. Because if it is on hit, then, well, we're gonna obviously not have the barrier, but I guess we're gonna find out right now. Now, I think he gets Bullseye after this plus ultra. It's not during it. Yeah. Oh, and the barrier is still activated, which is really, really good. So, since they have dodge, right, and Night Eye has Bullseye, we do our action skill first with Night Eye. Gets rid of, basically, it goes right through the, uh, their ability to dodge, Midori and Nezure, and then that allows Compress to just have free room. Oh, I didn't raise the crit rate. I did the other one. Oh, that's just really bad. Oh, that's real bad by me. That's me just not paying attention. This is actually a really tough team we're fighting too, right? Because we have two characters that are lowering crit resistance down. And then, uh, just damn power down from Redestro. Like, this is a really tanky team that we are fighting here. You gotta keep that in mind as well, too. But we're gonna keep our rotations flowing forever and ever. So, hopefully, eventually, we can just wear them down. So, longer fight, but I'm okay with this, as long as we can take it. But the problem with that, too, is Celebration's Deku's over there, who is constantly powering up the team. So, it could, could get a little bit ugly by the finish line, but we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully, we can tough it out and get another W with Night Eye here. As you can see, Redestro's already starting to ramp up that damage, and that's only going to keep going up, right? When he gets uh, Bullseye, which he does. He has 10 stress now, right? Bullseye and Piercing Shot, so... Gonna have to keep that in mind. A, comp a bind would have been really nice there, but it is what it is. We did get a crit there, so that's really good. And, okay, so it's just action skills again, so we are still okay. No one's dodging, so we can do this. 
and hopefully either get a bind or, an, or a stun on everybody. No bind. We did get a double stun and took out Redestro. Let's freaking go. Night Eye is cooking. Are you kidding me, Night Eye? Wow, this is actually super, super impressive so far. My boy is actually just a monster. I am so excited to love this. Is like it's just like Redestro. The last couple climax battle units have been insane. Uh, we're gonna go for Imidoria just because you know, constantly healing, constantly powering up the team. Ooh, I'm missing skill chains. Not looking good. Not looking good. I gotta, I gotta fix my uh, timing up. Oh, and I messed up Night Eyes plus Ultra. <laughs> no, that's not good at all. Night Eye, you gonna be able to live this? Oh, Compress is in trouble. Yeah, we do lose Compress. Oh, oh no, I bought a spoken too soon. That one action skill click I missed might actually cost me. Are you kidding me? Hey, Mo, Mom, I need you to do some work here. Oh, I think we can take out Deku. Deku lives. He lives. He missed the fight another day. No. All right, all right. Um, gonna need some work here. Come on, Night Eye. Big numbers. Nezre should be able to finish off Deku. Good. Stun. Oh, we took out Nezre. Okay. I think we're in the driver's seat to go home now. Uh, we're on the like, final stretch. We should be okay. We can target Sue. So, yeah, yeah. We should be able to call this a dub. Yeah, yeah. There we go. And this should have... Oh, no. He didn't do his plus ultra. So he doesn't have bullseye. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, and now we're plus altering what he's probably going to seal up Night Eye's abilities. Oh, I don't think he sealed him, actually. Okay, we can do the plus ultra. That's all that matters to me. That's all that matters to me. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I was going to say, Momo wasn't there to give him the extra lives, so... Clicked into me last second, so... Hey, Night Eye! Night Eye, my boy, cook it. I'm actually... That was impressive. Uh, I'm very excited to actually test him at his, like, max potential. Anyways, those are the, the fights that I've done. They are right here. Uh, Katsuki, 414k. Sam, like I said, I, it was it was a one and done. I got obliterated. It was horrible. And uh, <laughs> that was it. So GG's to Sam and Katsuki. Oscar, GG's 585k. Good damage. And Roswell, of course, GG's. Looked like we did a lot more damage, but that's what I mean. That crit resistance that was going on with Nezure and Redestro lowering power and crit resistance himself. Like, that was a... We were just not able to do a lot of damage. But still, very impressive nonetheless. I'm very very pleased with how he did in pvp so uh that'll be for that if you want to stick around for the pve see if we can max out his damage see what he can do uh that'll be coming up in a second but if not pvp he got a big thumbs up for me and i'm excited to see this character at ur plus big time so i actually decided to go into the uh, ultra difficulty of against against monoma i feel like this is actually going to be a really good test against for night eye i actually think he's going to perform quite well in here uh but yeah, I just didn't really... I, I didn't want to use 10 gems to reset my case files. I'm, I'm being a little cheap right now. So, yeah. This is where we're going to go. And I actually... I forgot that they are red. I thought, you know, Monoma is blue. But I forgot blue. Obviously, Monoma does really good in here. But Night Eye, of course, being the same color, I figured this was the way to go. And as you can see, it's a much supporting cast. Uh, I didn't go through the memories very quick. But the main thing here is Deku is now on the team for the power-up. And I gave full power young ones to Night Eye. Because we do have class 1A characters on the team. And yes, I know Endeavor would have gotten extra support too from this all, but uh, it's until I have Night Eye more invested, that that showcase will be a little bit later. So I'm excited to look at that team though. Anyways, let's see what Night Eye can give us right off the bat, turn one. Fifty-two K to Tetsu Tetsu. Oh, my boy's already feeling it. Ten K. Oh, you love to see it. Okay, this is really really good. Uh, single target attack that can remove any buffs that Tetsu's got going on. And the power DC is going up. We're already at 83k with that skill. Oh yeah, this is going to be a cake walk. Uh, and now we just throw some plus ultras towards uh, Tetsu Tetsu. And then we basically just, we go home. You know what, I'm going to throw Monomas out here too. We, we get a little taste of Monomas plus ultra here. Love to see it. Monoma showcase coming up soon. I think we confused Tetsu Tetsu there. So yeah, we're looking good. And yeah, remember, Monoma is also like applying debuffs on debuffs, and we're just getting to, we're just doing that amount of damage in Night Eyes, like dishing out still. So, crazy, super, super good. Destruction mode for her and himself and Kendo. 
And now we get the Night Eye plus Ultra, which I do love. That's it. It's clean. It's beautiful. 87k, just like that. This this team works really, really well. I wish if Deku had speed in his kit, imagine how good Celebrations Deku would be. A absolute staple to PvP. But just having that little bit of speed out, unfortunately, does somewhat hinder him. But hey, look at that. He's, I mean, for PvE, he's, he's the absolute GOAT. Look at the damage we are tossing out there, too. With just that AoE, I wouldn't be surprised if this does max damage. We're a bit ramped up right now. I don't think uh, Monoma did the debuffs. 85k. We got the buff block in there, though. Yeah, he ain't, he ain't buying crap with all them buffs block. Uh, yeah, 12k normals. Yeah, honestly, super impressed with how this is all going out. Night Eye is just doing his job. Kendo not being able to do too much here. We just have too, too strong of supportive cast. Monoma's probably going to get KO here by Deku. Or does he have last stands? I can't remember. He does. Okay, so... Night Eye here is probably going to finish the job. I would think. Yes, he does. Max damage! Nine, 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 nine. Oh, Night Eye, you impressing me, boy. Toss out that AoE, get the barrier, maybe get the stun. You know, insult on injury. No, no, no. Oh, he's, she just got bullseye. Ignored the barrier. And honestly, this is... Pro I don't know if this will KO, but... This will definitely get her down to... Nothing. Max damage. Uh, 100k buff block. Yeah, you ain't, you ain't gonna have the power to KO, KO Deku. And we will finish with the Night Eye plus Ultra. Hey, you can do everything you want, Kendo. It's not gonna work on me, though. Night Eye predicting the future. Max damage. 100k, buried to the whole team, had Bullseye for two turns. Night Eye is a jack of all trades character. Like he's giving support, he's giving crit rate, he's debuffing the team's speed, he's stunning for two turns with his AoE. He's given a barrier with one turn with that AoE attack, plus his Pulse Ultra. His Pulse Ultra gives Bullseye twice. He can raise your team's crit rate for three turns on the single target attack, which also removes buffs for two turns, blocks the buffs of a single opponent for two turns. Night Eye can cook. Are you kidding me? My boy can do work. Anyways, that'll be it for this one. Let me know your thoughts and opinions are on Night Eye. I act that was the most impressive thing I've seen in a while. Uh, and it's mainly, it's not that I didn't once again doubt Night Eye. It's just I have him at board nine. Like he's not invested fully. And he's doing all that? He's doing all that? Are you kidding me? Anyways, that'll be it for this one. Uh, let me know what y'all think of Night Eye. Hopefully, uh, you're enjoying the unit. Hopefully you're surviving that climax battle, which is the pain in the arse, but uh, yeah. Guides are coming out from everybody, so hopefully it's getting easier for everybody to clear that climax battle. And yeah, you get to try this night out because he is crazy. Super, super good. So anyways, like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Goal is 500 by 2024. And so far, we're doing pretty good. We're about 38 away or something like that, or 40 away, I'll just say. We're at 460, so can't thank you all enough for everything. So until the next one, Night Eye, absolute beast, loved him. Take care, and Tokusa out.